Hi everybody, this is Jamie with C4 Depot and I want to do a quick demonstration of the new ring light that my genius associate Kyle has just produced and I've got a blank scene here and uh, let me just uh, open up Studio Kit Pro, it's right here and for this demo I think I want to use a preset. These are the pre-lit environments that come with Studio Kit Pro and for this one I think I'll just use this studio abstract get rid of the little sphere and I'm gonna get a test subject for this one I'm gonna pick a bathtub and this is the default scene it actually looks pretty good when I render it even without doing anything to this scene but if you were being picky you might say well you know, I, you know, this looks pretty good, but I don't like the dark part of the tub being in the foreground. I'd like to add a little bit of frontal illumination to the test subject and, you know, brighten that up so that it doesn't look so dead right there. So this is a perfect situation for adding a ring light. So let's just add a camera. And I'm just going to pivot around so that you can see the camera. There it is. And let's go back into Studio Kit Pro and there's the ring light. So double click on it. I'm going to zoom out so you can see it. And let's attach it to the camera. To put the camera in this area. There you go. Now as you can see you're never going to get a ring light this big on a 35 millimeter camera. So this is kind of a cool function of being able to do things inside Cinema 4D because you can do things that you can't do in real life. But this ring light has some nice parameters you can adjust the inner radius if you want to get that choke that in around the lens you can make the outer radius a little bit small if you want a little bit more specular highlights on the tub and let's switch back to the render camera position and render this out and see what this looks like and I haven't changed any of the parameters on the ring light other than the geometry of the ring light but you have uh, some brightness adjustments and you can change the vignette the fall off to make that ring light more intense or less so more diffuse but there you go so that's our render from the ring light and you can see how amazingly fast it was for me to get a render that looks so good it could actually be an image in a catalog and all I did is just use a studio preset and the ring light and boom it's all done so I think this is a really great addition to uh, Studio Kit Pro if you want the ring light uh, just as a standalone. Uh, we're going to make that available. I think it'll be under $10. If you like the page, you can go to the download area and get more product information on Studio Kit Pro and the ring light. So thanks so much for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.